one of the most difficult milestones to hit on youtube is actually getting your first 4000 watch hours and without these 4000 watch hours trust me you still can monetize even if you get your first 1000 subscribers so when it comes over to youtube monetization and growing your channel the most easiest thing to actually get is your first 1000 subscribers but then for you to make good use of that 1000 subscribers to get what you want you need the first 4000 watch hours on your channel which will help you monetize so a lot of people have asked me like repeatedly on comment section that I should create videos on how they can get their 4,000 watch hours. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a practical guide on how I get to build all my channels to 4,000 watch hours in less than two months. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you that you hit it in one month's time from the day you start implementing, but I will assure you that within two months of consistency, consistently implementing whatever thing I'm going to share with you in this video, you can actually hit your first 4,000 watch hours. So hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Paris Tech. If this is your first time here, on this channel, I mainly focus on creating tips on how you and I can make money through content creation and other means. So if you find this video helpful and you need more great content like this, then consider smashing on that subscribe button and also tell me what if you at the very end of the video. So with that already said, let's get straight into today's video. Let me share with you these five simple tips that you can actually use to get your first 4,000 watch hours in no time. Trust me, these are one of the most secret tips when it comes to building a YouTube channel that a lot of people don't share with you. So that already said, let's get straight into today's video the first tip when it comes to getting your first 4,000 watch hours on youtube is actually creating longer videos so what i mean by longer videos is actually creating detailed videos but make sure that they are very long like at least 10 minutes on above the reason why you need to create longer videos is that when longer videos get an average of let me say you create a video of uh, 20 minutes and it gets an average of uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, views per each viewer this one will help you reach your monetization very faster than creating a video of five minutes uh six minutes or three minutes like i see a lot of people advising that for you to get monetized faster on youtube you should create more shots as more shots will help you grow your channel and the truth is that creating more shots or creating shorter videos will actually let you to get views but then it will be difficult for you to get that first four thousand watch hours and one thing you don't know is that that first 4,000 watch hour is calculated with 12 months interval. So if you are unable to hit it within the first 12 months, YouTube is going to cut out the previous month and then start counting from another month again. So for you to uh, hit your first 4,000 watch hour, I advise you to create longer videos. So when it comes to creating longer videos, here's what I will tell you. Don't just create longer and boring videos. Add more value to your normal videos that you create. So for example, if you're creating top 5 this, top 5 that, you can actually make it more better by making it up to top 10 top 15 top this so the work you put in will actually determine the result you get so personally if you take a look at all my channels for those of you who know all my channels you realize that i don't create hardly you see me upload a video of five minutes or less almost all my videos are 10 minutes and above this is not because i just want to keep the people watching i want to give more value and by giving them more value i get more of their views and then the more views i get it will help me actually get to my watch time very faster i know you've seen channels with um uh, five five minute or three three minute videos also getting monetized now here is the truth with those channels those channels they upload over 10 like they upload up to 10 plus videos every single week and if you can do up to 10 plus videos every single week on five five minutes then try it but know that for you to use those sort of videos to get watch time very faster and get to your four thousand watch hour you have to upload more of it and make sure they are getting decent amount of views unlike longer videos that you don't need too many views to hit your 4,000 watch hour because your videos are already long and getting half our views on all of them will help you hit your 4,000 subscribers faster. So the point number two is actually making your videos more engaging. So what I mean by making your videos more engaging simply because, for example, if you should create a video of uh, 10, 20, 30 minutes like I do, it's not everyone will actually get to watch that your video more than two minutes and this one will be bad for your video so if you have a video of uh, let me say 10 minutes 20 minutes you should at least get six minutes to 10 minutes plus views from the people uh, from each viewer and for you to get this you have to make sure that your videos are engaging and there are a lot of things you can do to make your videos engaging the first one is actually switching camera angles so for example if you are using if you are shooting with your phone and then you have someone who can actually assist you with the position of your camera then that is really good so that when you are talking you get to an extent whereby the person can actually help you move the camera to a different angle to give you a different view this one will provide transition in your viewers eyes and then keep them engaged with the video or another thing you can do is that so for example if you are just shooting solo like i do where you don't have anyone to help you move the camera then you can just get a rolling chair and then just moving around just trying to change the point of view so that it will also move the user's eye along and the another thing you can do to make your videos more engaging is using smart transitions. So smart transition is simply like, for example, when I finish with the point one in this video or the intro, you realize that the video didn't just switch once or I didn't just continue talking. Something actually like 
there was a different movement from that clip to this clip this one also keep people watching and then you can also use uh free stock videos like once you've seen once i was shooting this video like whilst you are watching this video you've probably seen some free stock videos displaying on your screen yes you can also use this one just to change your point of views because if users are only looking at your face and they're watching at your face at a static angle like this it will be difficult for them to watch a video for very long time so one thing you can actually do for yourself is that one try changing your video transitions two try adding captions and then three also uh change camera angles add various transition but when you're adding transition here's my warning don't use so many transitions on one video so if you've been watching my channel realize that i don't use more than three transitions on one video and when i use this three transition i use one for the intro then i have one specific one that i use across all the clips and then the final one is if i'm switching from my screen to, uh, from my camera to my laptop that's when i use a different kind of transition just to create different, different views and to let the people know that i'm moving from one scene to another and this one will also help you keep users engaged and keep them watching so that's simply it about the point number two here simply make your videos engaging by adding free stock photos adding captures if you can do that and CapCut can actually help you do captions for 100 percent free and then using multiple uh transitions by keeping it very professional and then thirdly is actually using various free clips to actually help your videos more engaging because the more engaging they are the longer they are going to watch it and the longer they watch it the more watch time you are going to get so now let's move over to the third tips on how you can actually get your first 4000 watch hours faster the point number three is actually do live streams so if you are in a niche whereby you think live stream will be really productive for you or you have a lot of chance that you can actually do is to do live stream then i advise you try live stream because if you should do a live stream of let me say 50 minute to one to an hour it will actually help you get your first 4000 watch hours very faster because if you are able to create videos of 50 50 minutes and you are live streaming people are actually going to follow your live stream almost to the end without knowing that is the benefit of live streaming and this is why like this channel I've, when i started it at first i did some live streaming and even on my new channel we are talking about crypto and forest trading at times i do go live when i'm very free i do go live and i make sure that each of my live streaming goes up to 40 minutes plus the reason is that if i should get only a few people to even watch this 50 minutes or 40 minutes videos to the very end or follow this live stream to the very end it will help me hit my 4000 watch are very faster because those ones are very long and then one thing with live streaming is that it's very difficult for people to click away from live streams since you are sharing them what they want to uh, learn in live session like they feel like they are communicating with you directly as it even enables them to drop comments and then you reply them instantly from the live chat all of that to keep them engaging with your live stream and this one will get you more views faster so that is it about the third one on our list is taking advantage of live stream to actually keep your users engaged and keep them watching so now let's move over to the fourth and fifth point on our list so the point number four is actually optimizing your titles and thumbnails so like when it comes over to youtube when you upload your videos on YouTube, YouTube actually spread this video to a sort of audience. And for those set of audience to click on it, they will look at your title and thumbnail. So when creating your titles on thumbnail, understand the difference between clickbait and clickworthy. Make sure that your titles are clickworthy and not clickbait. When I say clickworthy, simply letting people know what you are going to uh, tell them in the video, but then adding a little bit of sentiment in it and not being so accurate. Like for example, for a thumbnail, you can just say 4,000 subscribers. You don't have to put the information like uh, how how to get 4,000 subscribers. No, you can say 4,000 subscribers in less than 30 days. Very simple. This sort of thumbnails will get people to click on it rather than thumbnails that says how to get 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. So get to understand how to edit your thumbnails. Like take a look at uh, like one of my videos that I did that gave me one of my best clicks. On the thumbnail, I did not say things much. I only said i only put uh what i was going to share like the keyword itself on the thumbnail and that was all and that video even gave me more clicks and views than my previous video where i actually shared a lot of information on the thumbnail and you can also implement this as well make sure your thumbnails are not clickbait they should focus on the information you are going to share in the video but then don't explain everything on the thumbnail so that people don't get to know because when you create this sense of curiosity in their mind it will lead them to click on it more often provided that issue on their feed so that's simply it about the fourth point we have on our list here is simply creating a bit of sentiment with your titles and thumbnails to attract more clicks so in case you don't know how you can actually create uh better youtube titles or thumbnails you can check more videos on youtube here or another thing you can do for your titles is that look at the kind of titles your competitors are using like check out your competitors channel people who create same content like you check out their channel look at how they are titling their videos and then you can learn one or two from there or you can even use ai's and if you want to use ai to actually generate youtube titles i advise you use google bad or microsoft copilot so that's simply it about the fourth point here simply optimize your titles 
and thumbnail. So before we move on to the fifth point, hello guys, if this is your first time here and you haven't smashed that subscribe button, kindly do so. And also check out my website, which will be, which will be linked down in the video description. That particular article over there will, will tell you more information about how you can get your 4,000 watch hours very faster on YouTube. So on this video, I shared only five tips, but then on that, my, on that article, I contain over five tips that you can actually use. So now the fifth point is that you need to be consistent. So what I mean by be consistent is that you don't have to upload one video today and then wait for one more time and then come and upload another again. If you like upload a video of one hour today, you are not going to get as much views as you want because your channel is not consistent. Mostly if it's a new channel. If your channel is really new and less than 2,000 subscribers, my best advice for you is to upload two to three videos every single week. Like two to three videos every single week. This one will help you get more viewers and then the more viewers you get, the more subscribers you get. The more subscribers you get simply means that you get more engagement in your follow-up videos. And then once you get more engagement, YouTube will now share your videos to more people and then leading to more people, this one will actually get leading to get more views, more subscribers and then more watch time very faster. So the point number five is not really anything long. It's simply be consistent with everything that you are going to implement. So if you are going to take advantage of long videos, don't create one long video and then don't create one 20 minutes video and then come and create two minutes videos and then expect the same result. It won't happen at all. If you are creating a 10 minute video, just make sure that all your videos are eight minutes to 10 minutes and above. This one will give you more advantage. And even when you monetize, these sort of videos will start to make you more money rather than those short, short videos. So hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video and tell me what to feel down in the comment section. So that I just said, have a nice day. Bye.